Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivano with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm gonna show you how to build a keyboard maestro palette so you can tr trigger all types of actions. Stick around and check it out. So yes, you know that I am a big fan, I've always been a big fan of Keyboard Maestro, I've been using it for several years, probably at least a decade now. And I wanna take this video to show you how to build a, um, a kind of a Keyboard Maestro palette, which is really easy to do. So let me show you what it, what it looks like. And they, they take all different types of forms, but I'm just gonna show you one here. So basically, I'm gonna trigger my palette. And what this palette does here is that it will, um, I have icons so that it will jump to different spaces in my Arc browser. So if I want to dump, jump, jump to my, you know, um, default, uh, you know, space here, I just do that. Then I can click, and if I want to go back to over here, my YouTube space, I can do that. And the reason why I do it is because, you know, the the way to jump, to, if I wanted to jump to the spaces, I can either have to go down here and click here, or use the um, use you know the keyboard shortcuts, but with the palette, basically what I'm doing is I'm mapping the keyboard shortcuts to the spaces into this palette here, and so all I have to do is just bring up the palette and then click where I want. Now I use a a um, I use a better touch tool finger gesture, so I kind of do a you know three three finger swipe to the uh, left to bring up this palette, but you can also bring it up by just manually, um, you know, clicking the assigned uh, keyboard shortcut, and I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go into and, and see how this looks. I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna get rid of, uh, pull up uh, Keyboard Maestro, and we're gonna get rid of this here. Let's see why they're not doing that, Let's see here. There you go. And so we're gonna do that. And so this is what the um, Keyboard Maestro palette looks like here, right? And basically what you'll see here is, first off, what you're gonna do is you're going to go here down at the bottom and you'll click to create a new folder, right? And I'll Keyboard Maestro folder. And then you'll give the folder a name. So that's pretty, pretty self-evident there. You'll give the folder a name up here. So basically, even though you're seeing all these different macros in it, when you first do it, you won't have any, um, you know, macros inside your folder. Um, but you're gonna do that. And then again, now we're still in the folder. This is the folder view, right? As a matter of fact, let me just show you really quick just so you can kind of see. So basically when you do the folder, you, it'll look like this first, right? You do, it'll look like this, and then you're gonna put a name. So we'll put arc spaces. I'll just kind of reproduce this a little bit for you so you can see it. All right, so now what you have to do when you end the folder there, and we're back up here to arc spaces. Let me find it here. So you see you have two of them here. So this is the one we just created. And now what you gotta do is you gotta decide, will this palette be available in all applications or will it be available in just, you know, one or more applications, right? So for example, I want it to only be to appear in my Arc um, browser. Um, but you can definitely create it where that it will appear in, um, you know, you know, just any application if you want to do that. You can also say, well, I want it to only appear where a certain window, uh, the, the title of a certain window exists. So that's another thing you can do. Um, so there's a lot of different options you can have when you play around with this. And then you also want to say, well, how often do you want to activate it? Do you want it to stay activated so it stays on your desktop? Or do you want to um, activate it for... Uh, shows palette for one action. So in other words, you know, when you when you trigger the palette and then you click something in it, then it will uh, go, you know, it will go away. So, so that shows the palette for one action. And then how are you going to bring up that palette? Are you going to use a hotkey or you can put it in the status menu, which is in the menu bar of, um, you know, your, your, your computer or your Mac, or this or it can be in your global uh, macro palette. So if you use Keyboard Maestro, you'll know what the um, global macro palette is, right? So you would assign like a, a, a keyboard shortcut there to do that and say just off the top here, we'll just put it there. And then what you can do also 
is as you begin to build the palette, you can go in and change um, how the size of the palette, what you want what you want to show, like if you just want to show the icon or you want to show the, the title of the palette, if you want it to shrink up and down, that kind of thing. If you don't want it to shrink, you can do that. It's okay. So that gives you an idea there. And then what you're going to do here is you're going and like, you know, if you, you're going to start building your first uh, macro, right, within the within the folder that is within the palette. So, you know, you would do, um, you know, you give it your macro a title, and then you're going to decide, like, what kind of hotkey you're going to trigger. Say, you know, you're going to trigger the, uh, you want to, you want it to have it where it's going to, re um, um, you know, um, kind of reshape the, play the page, refresh the page here. So you might want to do that. And then um, you're going to go in. Well, actually, I'm sorry. What you're going to do is for this one, you're going to, if you're going to have a palette, you need to create, you need to create, um, you don't really need to create anything here, actually. Um, you can do this. So then you're going to go in and go, like, say, for my favorites, say you're going to type a key, uh, keyboard shortcut, and it's going to be refresh the page um, there. And that will give you your first one. So you put refresh page. Okay. And then, um, let's see, let's go to another one right here. And you'll say another one will be, uh, put another mac macro. And then you want to say, uh, go to space one, something like that or default space and then you go here and then you you know you have to know what your what your uh you know your keyboard shortcuts are for that for what you're trying to trigger so you, you will do this and go to like maybe say control control zero or something like that right so this will go there right and so basically so this is what you're doing is you're creating you're creating these here and then you can go into the menu um of keyboard maestro and pull up uh let's see here if it's on here you can pull up the let me let me do it over here uh, let's see okay yeah you can pull up the what's called a icon um you can pull up an icon uh, you know selector here and basically what you can do is add a high icon. So they have, they have internal icons, application icons. And so when you click on one of the icons there, and I'm just putting up something really quick, you'll see that it'll put the icon in there. So that's how you put the icons in there. So that's how that happens. All right, so basically you would just do all those to, to create your palette and then it'll come out looking like this right here. Now, again, you don't have to, I think I don't know why I put these here I, did, I built this a long time ago you really don't need these be, need these um high keys because it's all going to appear in the palette so you you're just clicking uh, when you when you click on the icon it's, it's triggering this particular action right here that you put in there so you see for the default action i have control zero and then for this other uh space here uh i have uh, control three uh i have another one for refreshing the page and then one for my client section you know and that's control um six and so that that's basically how you do it and then when you again you want to go back and you click on the um you click on this the 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 palette or the folder right here and you see mine is set up where it appears in arc and i'm triggering this keyboard shortcut so i either will press that keyboard shortcut manually with my fingers or i can use my better touch tool finger gesture to do that and then again like i just showed you you can also do your your um you can do your you know you can customize your palette to, to how you want it to look um you know you can change the you know how the, the how it looks in there go, go down here see you can change the different colors and that kind of thing and that's basically how it gets done there and it's a really fun thing to do and like for example there's um keyboard maestro has a palette in the um 
settings and go, if you go into settings you can you can uh, enable this palette which that will show all your um, applications that are open in your dock and sometimes because I have this 21 uh, 27 inch uh, iMac, right? Um, I, use, I sometimes I keep this up here because this it's a lot quicker to just kind of park it to the side, um, say the, the, the left hand side of my desktop, and just click them here rather than have them go all the way down to the dock. So that's just you know something you can do here. And then there's another one they have this kind of global. Um, palette and you see where this is a lot of these things in here and I I don't use all of these I need to clean it up here but it's a global palette and you can put any uh, action or macro in that palette to click there so and then you'll see that it shrinks here so this comes by default you just got to decide what um, actions you want to go into that so then go put that back over here so that's basically how you do that I hope you uh, uh, you you know hope this is a good tutorial for you if you have any questions about how to build it let me know and um, you know I'm assuming that you have a little bit of background about keyboard maestro but if you do not it's keyboard maestro is a great tool to download and get it for I think you get a 33 tri trial and just kind of start going through and setting it up and it'll walk you through how to get it set up and then Again, as you begin to get familiar with Keyboard Maestro, then you can start building your own palettes. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, definitely give me a follow. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.